What's up everyone and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Banished. So let's continue where we left off here and we are still waiting to purchase some additional seeds to fill all or to fill all these crop fields here. And let's see, let's start the game up at 1x here while we look at our trader here. So yeah, it does seem that we have some clothing in there. So almost 400 full coats as well as over a thousand full libraries. So this is just waiting until the trader comes. So let's have a look. Maybe somewhere close by. I'm not exactly sure. No, not really close by. So let's just wait for that uh, trader to come along. Let's see here. Yeah, we already have quite a bit of seeds here. So only a few left. Hopefully we'll uh, have the money to trade from all in one go. But that depends on whether or not the trader is bringing whatever it is that we need so that's pretty good and let's see here one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah so we have roughly 20 open crop fields here we'll change it to orchards if we need to but I'm not exactly sure yet but we can do that on the go that's no problem at all so let's have a look at our graphs here Let's see if we need to do something. So our population is still growing. That's good. Citizens are healthy and happy. We could choose a little bit more alcohol though, because I don't think we have luxuries. Let's check it really quick here. Oh yes, we do seem to have some luxuries here. So that's going up because of all the breweries we added. So stone is still good. Log is dropping a bit, so that's something we might want to keep an eye on here. Food is also stabilizing, so that's good. Let's uh, let's take care of that log problem. Well, it's not really a problem yet, but I also don't want it to become one. So let's add some log cabins. One, two, three, and four, right there. And let's start assigning some foresters here. Let's do the same here. Uh, lock cabin right there. Two, three, and four. Set you to work. Two, three, four. And we have already pre-built quite a bit of them, so I don't think that should necessarily be a problem. One, two, three, four. There we go. Two, three. And four, it's just the homes that I need to add here. Didn't do that yet, so we have a forester right there. You are also working. How come you are working and don't have any log cabins nearby? Three and four. So let's see, no, you're totally filled up, so that's good. And let's start building you as well. Well, let's build you too. Of course, add some stockpiles close by. Six by eight should do it. If you're right there, let's do one right across from you. Eight by six right there. And we'll build homes as soon as these finish. So with all these additional forest lodges, we should be good. Let's see here. Do we have a few here? Yes, we do. homes nearby right there and I'm thinking that should do it let's just leave it at that with all these additional foresters I don't see how this could be a problem in the future it is dropping Let's see here, what's the log limit at? Let's up that to 20,000. Okay, good stuff. So assuming that logs are going to be good in the future, food should be too. Stone is good, iron is dropping. That's probably because of the statues that we are making here. Firewood is still really good, no problem. Minerals too. Tools is dipping slightly here. Herbs still good. Clothing, yeah, that still needs to uh, recover here, but it will. 
hopefully. So yeah, in terms of firewood, that's still increasing, but if need be, I'll add a few stacks burners, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Let's see here, we might want to add one here, just to build it though, not to really set it to work. So let's see here, where are you? Stacks burner right there. You are the log cabin, so let's uh, build one here. Or maybe here? Yeah, let's do it here. Okay, so this iron here. Let's see. We do have some mines pre-built. I'm thinking right here, right? Yes, sir. But we don't have many homes here. So we might want to do a row here. What's our coal looking like? Coal, 300. So that should be good. Let's just add a few stone homes here. One, two, three, four. Well, let's do five. Now let's set you to making iron here. Do we have a furnace fueler around? Yes, we do. Okay. So let's have maybe ten people work here. There we go. That should solve the iron problem. We have plenty of laborers as well as builders, so we can assign them to whatever we want. And that's really the preparation here. We already had these pre-built. Just need to uh, set them to work. That's it. Easy peasy. Fire, we're doing good. Minerals too. Tools, yeah. Okay, so let's see here. What about bronze? We do have 23 bronze statues here, so that's good. I'm thinking that we don't need more. Yeah, and our bronze is at zero. So, let's see here. Where did, where did I put these? Those are homewares. This is a copper mine here. Should have looked back at the episode to know exactly where those are. Yeah, you're producing plenty of ale there. 110, that's pretty good. 90, yeah, okay, that's that's pretty good here. So you're the joiner. Thought it was somewhere around here. A statue carver. Let's see what that building looks like. That's a fairly small building. Did I tuck that somewhere in here? Homewares, winery, metalsmith? No. Should have paid attention, but I didn't. Well, okay. I'll have to look back for that. But that's not a that's not a problem necessarily. Let's see if we can make more bronze here. Do we have copper ore? We do have 30 copper ore. Tin ore, oh plenty. It's just we need a little bit more copper ore. Could we build another mine somewhere? Maybe here? We have some foundries nearby, some homes too, and we can still build more homes if we need to. So let's add another mine here. We'll have to wait for the trader anyway. Might as well make ourselves useful here. Copper ore mine, right there. There's the road, that's good. And we can fill these with homes too. Let's do that too. Let's fill up this old block here. Assuming we can fit it. We can, that's good. Right there. So, what are you? You need bronze. Oh, of course, the bronze statues here. The foundry can make those as well. 
So let's stop making bronze statues. And let's see here. Let's have you make bronze as well. What are you making? Iron statues. Hmm. Let's uh, not work you right now. Okay, good. How is that statue? How are those statues looking here? Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good here. We don't have stone statues yet. So we should look to build them. We have all these additional homes here. Let's see if we can get a statue proper right there. Statue carver takes wood, logs, stone, jade or marble and can make statues. Okay, that's what we need. So there is a quarry nearby. So let's fit him in right here. I'll make some stone statues as well. Good stuff. So yeah, that should... Let's see here, you're making bronze tools, but you don't have bronze. What with this copper mine here? Let's actually give that a little bit of priority. But with the statues not being produced anymore, our bronze should increase. Herbs still fine. Clothing, so-so. Luxury is finally going up. Yep, good. Textiles, everything is fine. So that's uh, that's uh, pretty good here. Still no trader. Coffee. Okay. Let's see here. Zero percent full. I'm curious to see. Let's add a few bronze statues right here. Oh, let's actually not do it here. Let's do it here. Bronze statue. Let's take twenty. Let's see how much they uh, how much they trade for. Ooh, that's a lot. Two hundred and seventy. That's crazy. Okay, let's leave that in there right away. Did our cotton end up increasing our inventory? Yes, sir. We do. How about cloth? Yeah, somewhat. Alright. So let's go to 10x here. It's going to increase the lag, but that's fine. We're going to have to wait anyway. There's the trader. Let's count how many seeds we still need. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 seeds, that should be, uh, that should be manageable. Okay. So yeah, that's going to trade for a lot here. Especially if we have the bronze statues. How many did we have in total? Twenty-three. Yeah, so it's just a matter of whether or not the trader can bring what we need. And it's only a matter of time here, so we are in a pretty comfortable position here. Health is going back up. Hopefully this happiness will start increasing with all these additional luxuries here. And that's mostly the ale, of course. 500 ale. Let's see, so we're producing most of the ale right here, right? These are all the cherries. And these are all the breweries here, so it is somewhat central here, but I'm thinking should have made more alcohol here too, because that's quite far away. Do we have ale in this one? No, we do not. So a decentralized production of ale, that might be uh, that might be pretty good. All it takes is like two blocks here, and that should be able to supply all these people right here. 
Those are just some t key takeaways from this uh, from this season two here. Actually, learned a lot because I thought that with these farming only, I thought we would be we would be pretty limited in what we could do. Let's see, somebody died during childbirth. Terrible. Another trader right there. But I was saying, with the farming only challenge here. That's pretty interesting because we actually built a lot of food production buildings that are tied to these uh, crop fields here. Of course, we uh, started with sorghum. Let's see here. I believe that was right here and we moved towards the shoreline as soon as we could. We also had some bison, although these are fishing cows. But this one is sorghum, I'm assuming. Yes, sir. This is blueberries now. But we started with sorghum and we expanded actually pretty quickly to wheat and wheat by itself is uh, not so good buying some gemstones that would have been nice but no thank you so yeah when we started producing wheat we immediately had a need for a food production building that wasn't necessarily a crop field here because wheat in itself is pretty useless we can only process it here in the city windmill, turn it into flour, and after turning it into flour, we can send it to the bakery and then really, really start producing some food here. We still have the tornado too, because especially in the beginning, we're doing pretty good now in terms of food. At least we're somewhat stabilized, I hope. If not, we're going to have to build more things, but that's okay. So we're doing pretty good on food now, but especially in the beginning, that was pretty... Uh, that was pretty interesting here, because we kept on growing, and we were actually chasing with the food here. But, the tornado took care of that right away. It knocked us down a few pegs here, and it killed a lot of people. It basically came across this whole area right here, destroyed the school, destroyed the... Uh, I think originally we had our toolsmith right here, or blacksmith. Everything got destroyed, and... I think like two-thirds of our population died, so that was terrible. But it did solve our food problem, because the less mouths we need to feed, the more food we keep in our inventories here. So yeah, that basically opened the door to, uh, to all this excess food here. These wheat fields are extremely, extremely efficient. So that was, uh, that was pretty cool. So yeah, corn. We use that too. I'm thinking we're processing it right here now. Yeah, we're processing the corn into flour right there. And then of course the tinneries, those are also very, very helpful. Okay, let's see here. Trader. These have some seeds. No, plant corns and horses. Let's uh Let's relieve this man from his duties. He has been most helpful. Okay, there's the copper mine. It's good. So I'm gonna need copper ore. Yes. So let's add six people to work the mine. Seven. We have some nomads arriving. Oh, let's open it right here. 115 nomads requesting citizenship. Well, no, not right now. We don't need an additional 100 people. We have plenty of people right now, so I'm sorry, nomads. Not right now. So let's, uh, yeah, let's work you. One, two, three, four. Which one are you? Right there. That's actually quite a bit removed. So let's let's not do that one per se. Let's wait for another one. So yeah, I was saying, with the uh, with the tinneries here, that really helped us. Really, really helped us here. Because not only do they produce a lot of food, they do require tin. So that's something that, you, that we had to take care of. But once they're up and running, they really start uh, producing a lot of food, as well as they are able to produce food all year long. It doesn't really matter what season it is, as long as they have stock, they keep on producing tin. Well, uh, tin fruit this is all fruit actually 
Tint meat, tint vegetables, we can do everything. Tint soup, it's all good here. So that was really good because I thought we were we would have more issues with the with the seasonality here of the crop fields as well as the orchards, but it turned out it wasn't that big of a problem. Not at all. And of course we got to experiment with our let's see here. With the silk strategy here, although it was a little bit late game. Mid to late game while we were uh, <coughs> able to produce these took us quite a while but we're there now and we're producing plenty more than plenty amounts of clothes here I say while our clothing sits at roughly 100 that is crazy careful Let's keep an eye on this food here. And let's see, how many... Did I set your inventory at? Because I might want to... Might want to give that some breathing room here. 2,000 full libraries, and we have 1,400 right now. So let's keep it at 1,400. And let's fill the rest up with full coats here. And let's have all the additional full libraries be sent to our citizens here. That should be good for now. If it's not, then that's fine too. So yeah. The farming only was really exciting here. I did miss out on, you know, hunting blinds, fishing dogs. So the build order in this case uh, was not exactly the same. We had to cope with a few risks. But we managed it, I think, halfway satisfactory here. We didn't run into any real, real food troubles. Although, I should give a shout out to the... To the tornado, I guess, because that was really a. It's a strange thing to say, but it was a huge help. So stacks burner done. No need for you. Let's move this one up right here. You're being built there. Let's see, do I have enough foresters? Yes, I do. So yeah. We learned a lot of things, at least I did. Especially, how can I forget, the stacks burners, right? So, I think in future games, I'm uh, still going to uh, be producing sawmills, of course. But as soon as we have one sawmill and we can start producing lumber, I'm gonna move immediately to the stacks burner here. They are way, way more efficient than firewood. And I'm spawning some open spaces here for some, uh, for some stockpiles here. So let's uh, let's do that. We forgot, but now that we have the time, let's uh, cross the T's and dot the I's here. There we go. Yep. And let me just see here, because we are nearing the end game here. Uh, although it's silly, I do like to close the game off knowing that they'll do fine without me. There you go, another one. Here too. Yep, pretty good. Ooh. Don't even have a lean-to there. Let's fix that right away. There. Okay, that's good. But yeah, these tax burners. They were insane. Oh, that's an apothecary. Excuse me. Here's a tax burner. Are they still producing mass 2000 a season? With two people here. So yeah, I'm thinking. What the hunting blind is to the food, the stacks burner is for the firewood here. They should have called this... I don't know. Consumptive fuel instead of industrial fuel. So you start making stone statues, please. Thank you. Two people can work there, that's fine. We'll find a place to work. Help limit, let's set you to 
150,000. Let's go crazy. No need to stop that. Forces launch. One, two, three, four. There we go. Oh, of course. More lean twos. I'm also a big fan of these lean twos here. I'm gonna continue with that. If I can. What is going on here? Need a stockpile? No problem. We are pro stockpile builders. There we go. Frisian cows here. Also, when going milk, these Frisian cows are the way to go here. They produce insane amounts of milk. A thousand a season. No milking barn can compete with that, at least I don't think. should do some testing though, but my gut feeling says I don't think uh, milking barns can keep up, especially considering what we saw in Season 1 here. And even with all the limitations we put on ourselves here, I'm still thinking that Season 2 was a little bit more streamlined than was Season 1, although it was a lot of fun. Crushed by a rock. spawning. Yeah, that is a lean-to. But no stockpile here. Yep, looking good. Lots of stockpiles here. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good here. And while we're at it, let's uh, let's remove all the debris here. Oh, settle down. Take all the time you need. No problem. Another trainer here. So yeah, in terms of building order here, I'm think I'm thinking if we were to do another season, let me know in the comments if you'd like another season. And I'm thinking about exploring the Mega Mod here. Let's see what it has to offer. I read a lot of good things. Lots of different options. And I've never really played it, so might as well check it out. I really enjoy playing this game. I hope you do too. Of course, also, I hope you're enjoying watching it. Although I would want to fix this lag here. If at all possible. But that seems pretty difficult. So let's hope for seeds here. Trade? No, llamas and sheep. Okay, we're at 1400 here, we're still taking in some full coats. We do have the bronze statues here. That's, uh, that's good. And our clothing is finally picking back up again. If it's at a thousand, I might change it up again. So this one, what do you have? No. Don't need anything right now. How many people work here? One, that's plenty. That's plenty here. 400 members. How many people are we at? Almost 1300. That's okay. So yeah. Let's hope these cherries here. Do we have excess food? Ale. Okay, yeah. That's, uh, that's going really good here. Let's see. Luxuries. That is taken off like a rocket. That's good. Although I do need it to eventually turn up here. And it's not. Any hill, hill here? No. Okay, let's see here. A lot of beeswax here. Goodness. So let's actually... Take like 20,000 beeswax. We don't need that much beeswax. Oh, let's add one more zero. Oh, we can't. Then let's do 9,000. Can we do that? 10,000? No, 9,000 seems to be the max. 
9,000 beeswax. That's gonna clear out a lot of space in our storage facilities at our magazines, although they're very difficult to fully stock here, so that's good. Let's see here, charcoals off the charts, that's good. All pretty good here. We still have 10,000 cherries, although we're burning through them pretty quickly here. I thought we had like 20 plus thousand cherries. So that's gonna eventually run out. But we are getting ale, so that is, that's also really good. Let's see here. Flour is still pretty good. 30,000 heart attack, yeah, that's insane. Maple sap. Let's take 9,000 maple sap too. Not really using it for anything right now. At least I don't think. 9,000? Yeah, sure, why not? 9,000. Let's add two people to work here. Three in total. And Mulberry Reliefs. We are still overproducing, but it's winter, so they've just been uh, just been harvested. Potatoes, yeah, nothing is catching my eye here. Tin fruit, that's a lot of tin fruit. That's all the uh, that's all the cherries being tinned here. That's actually not so good because our cherries are running out really, really quickly here. So as soon as those cherries run out, which they will, my food production is going to go down. Because not only will I run out of cherries, my tinneries will also be idling. Let's see here. Those are all the tomatoes. Let's see, do we still have enough? You are taking peppers, strawberries, and tomatoes. So let's see here, strawberries. We do have enough strawberries, that's good. Pepper. Yep, still enough peppers. And lastly, tomatoes. thousand yeah so those are all still good here but cherries though that's uh that's kind of iffy here i might want to grow cherries here too let's uh add one more person to work there it's late winter it's gonna take some time but that's okay mm, should i add more right here People will be needing just a bit. Yeah, I could add two fields here. We'll be somewhat in the way, but that's not going to be too terrible here. So let's add two fields of cherries and add some ale production right there. Eighteen. 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 Let's actually pause the game here. Let's add a few orchards right here. 15 by 8. 15 by 8, good. Right there. Oops. Let's go right there. And right there, so that should work out. Let's keep these uh, somewhere where we can keep an eye on them. You're a winery, but I don't need a winery, I need brewery. So if four people work there, let's uh, see if we can fit it here. No, we cannot. So let's do them here, actually. Two wineries, that's good. Or brewery, rather. And enough people should be living here to make sure that those work there. So that's going to be 
fine and dandy. Hopefully. Alright, but I see that we're out of time here, so that's going to be it for this episode. Unfortunately, we were not able to uh, purchase any seeds from a trader, because the traders that came by either went to this one, and the ones that did come to our farm supplier did not have the seeds we need. Both had livestock. But that's going to be for next episode here. So, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and hopefully see you in the next episode too. Thanks.